$2.2 million have already been raised for Mary Pat Christie's Hurricane Sandy, New Jersey Relief Fund since its inception in November. And today, even more money was added to the charity. The First Lady received two checks today from Rite Aid. Customers donated nearly $230,000 nationwide, and the Rite Aid Foundation contributed $50,000. And there's so many companies and citizens throughout the, not only the state of New Jersey, but all over the country that um, are going to be integral in bringing New Jersey back. And I think being down at the beach, uh, the shore area this today really is symbolic of what's going on because uh, it's looking really good down here. We knew that's where the need was. Um, we're very involved with charities throughout the, throughout the country. Um, I personally live in Jersey, so when this came up, we knew we wanted to get more involved. The Relief Fund has already announced its first $1 million in grants will go to long-term recovery groups that will help communities affected by the storm. And applications for the next $5 million are due in March. A grants committee has four areas of focus when deciding where the money goes. There's a competitive grants process, and uh, we've targeted four different areas. One is gap funding, which is helping low- and middle-income folks rebuild their homes. Um, one is financial literacy. Um, we also have jobs um, and job training. And um, then the, the last part is um, mental health issues. The charity has also gained momentum among celebrities. The likes of John Bon Jovi, U2's Bono, and Brian Williams are honorary advisory board members. The First Lady says donations are continuing to come in and the fund will be here for the long haul. I anticipate being around for two to three years, however long the recovery takes, and, um, and I'll continue to make a strong effort to do more and more of this fundraising. New Jersey had to face budget problems before the hurricane, battled for federal relief funds, and may lose some funding to sequestration. So this charity may be the closest to a sure thing hurricane victims have right now. For NJ Today, I'm Dari Kotzker in Trenton.